Welcome to the Chinese case. Now is the workout time. A sip of wine may help. This workout focuses on the opposition between the consonants X and Q in the Chinese phonology. Respectively, they are called Xi and Qi inside the Pinyin initial system. Three remarks before we begin. Remark number one. There is enough time gap left between units of demonstration, so you could follow through without hitting the pause button. Remark number two. A syllable in gray indicates it's a sound never or barely used in the modern standard Chinese, which means you don't need to work on its pronunciation. The reason I'm putting them down is for us to experience the full set of sound opposition which benefits the ear training. Having said that, if any combination with certain final cannot be found at all, that means those combinations are forbidden for both initials inside the modern Chinese sound system. Remark number three, the fundamental difference between these two initials is this. C is a fricative, Qi is an affricate. To put it simply, it means the former is pronounced without blocking the airway, but the latter involves an extra step of blocking the air. For more information on this, you can find the links in the description. Meanwhile, the links to the other relevant pronunciation tips are also in the description. Alright, now let's begin. C, C. C, 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 C. Xu, Xu, Xu. Xu, 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 Xu. An extra remark here: the letter that looks like U in these syllables is, in fact, the Chinese vowel letter U, with the omission of the two dots on top. For more information on this, you could find the link in the description. That's it for today's workout. Now it's time for the real ground.